So while the mechanicals are pretty sound on my 1990 Mustang GT, it obviously needs a lot of cosmetic work. And while the whole thing needs to be painted, there's all kinds of other things that need to be fixed. The one thing that drives me nuts is the front bumper cover. I'm guessing at some point, somebody pulled it off a trailer really fast and just basically ripped it clear off. Now, in the case of this car, the bumper cover is already cut a little bit because it has a large intercooler on it, but we're gonna swap in a new bumper cover, which is gonna look better, and we'll take a look and see how the original is actually mounted. This is gonna be a reproduction bumper cover fitting your 87 through 93 Mustang GT. Also fits on the 93 Cobra. I actually used one of these on my 93 Cobra. You just have to basically cut out the section down here for the Cobra grill. Again, this is a direct replacement and installs using all the factory hardware. You will need some rivets to install this, which are available on our website as part of our bumper kit. Before we jump into the installation video, if you have any questions about the tools we're using, check out cjponyparts.com forward slash tools or click the link up in the corner for a free exclusive PDF and video showing you the tools you should have in your toolbox and how to safely and properly use them. So a couple things I want to mention before we get too far into this installation. The bumper cover is held on by rivets on the top here. There's going to be brackets on the side and bolts on the bottom. What I've seen from looking at this car, I think when they put the intercooler in, it's got a big treadstone intercooler in it. I think when they installed it, I mean, they know they cut the bumper to clear, which we're gonna have to do, but it also seems like they kind of hacked it together. Some of the brackets I can see are missing hardware. Some brackets are missing altogether. So we're gonna show you the basics of how the bumper comes off and then figure out how to properly mount the new one. Now, if you're working on an LX or even an earlier Fox body, the process is pretty much the same. Now here, it doesn't matter where you start. You can start in the fenders, you can start underneath. We're gonna start up in the engine bay with these two brackets right here. Now we're gonna move the bumper with the header panel, headlight panel, whatever you wanna call it, already installed to it. Now in theory, there would be hardware right here on both corners. As you can see that, it's also missing on ours. So now we're gonna move down and get the brackets in here. So as expected, we're running into broken parts already. One of the mounts is right here. This is over on the passenger side. There should be a stud that comes through here and a little L bracket that holds it on. The same thing that's on the driver's side. Ours is missing entirely. No surprise on the driver's side. The bracket is actually here and you can see the stud from the headlight panel, but the nut already missing. Let's go down underneath. So basically these brackets hold the fender to the bumper. They go all the way down the side here. Should have about five pieces of hardware holding them on. I think we have three, which is more than I expected. Uh, but remove those to separate this side. Now those will separate, as you can see, the top. The bottom, the ground effect piece is still held on. There's gonna be two nuts here. One, kind of hard to see at the very bottom here. Another one right on top. Now we can separate this bracket. and separate this side. So we're gonna repeat the process on the other side over in the driver's side and then come underneath. Now, what should happen here is these four should be lined up with these four here. As you can see, obviously they aren't. Again, it's because of the intercooler, they didn't really cut this out enough, plus it's ripped. While you're down here, disconnect the fog light. Now the bumper's separated, but the lights are still plugged in. So again, give it a little tug. Now you want to unplug all the lights. And now we can remove the bumper cover. So now we're ready to drill out the rivets, but to do that, we got to pull the headlights out because there's actually two underneath the headlight. So if you want to swap out your headlights, now is a perfect time to do it. Now we're gonna drill out these rivets to separate our header panel from our actual bumper cover. 
So we're gonna have about six of them on the top and eight more down below. Get the rivets out, we have these little push pins. And separate headlight supporter header panel, and we'll call it. All right, now we're ready to put our headlight reinforcement panel into our new bumper cover. Again, if yours is cracked or damaged, now's the time to replace it. Ours is a bit dirty, but it's solid. It's one piece, so we're gonna reuse it for now. Well, basically, when you put it in, this piece hopefully you still have and is still in good shape. This is a support, basically goes right underneath here, basically to help support the center of the bumper. Lined up, start installing the rivets. Now we're going to attach to the reinforcement panel, starting on the inside and working our way out. So we got all rivets in place. We had a couple spots here where the hole was just too big for the rivet we had. In that case, we used push pins with all the other rivets. These will actually hold fine. So a quick tip here, when we took our car apart, we were missing the hardware here. We were missing a lot of hardware, but we were missing the hardware here. If you are missing these, fender bolts fit perfectly. So these are just your normal Fox body fender bolts. These actually will work for the bolts that hold this on as well. So they have multiple uses on the car. Even though our bumper is not painted and probably isn't going to be painted anytime soon, we're still going to install the Ford emblem. If you look, you'll see there's actually two embossment points and you drill that out to install. If you look carefully, if you drill your holes, there's a small little alignment hole, drill that as well. and reinstall the original hardware. These are basically those self-cutting nuts because it is only plastic. So even though you remove them, you'll probably have to cut them in again. Okay, now we're gonna reinstall the factory lights or install new lights if you want, and the bumper's ready to go on the car. So ready to install the bumper. At this point, you wanna make sure the lower part of the bumper goes underneath this and the other piece goes on the top. And like I said, we did trim ours to clear our intercooler. Don't forget, as you see it here, plug in all your lights. And we're gonna tighten these two L brackets in the middle to the support. Start there and again, work your way out, tightening everything else. Reinstall the fender to bumper brackets, and tighten them down. All 
All right, now go behind the fender and tighten all the studs that are coming through from the bumper to the fender. Install some push pins now on the bottom here. Like I said, I use this bumper cover on my 93 Cobra and I was happy with the fitment and I'm happy with it on this car. Now this car, I know the front end's probably not exactly straight. That fender's got some issues, but overall the bumper cover fits well and looks way better than the one that was on here. As far as the installation goes, give yourself two to three hours, but back on the road in no time.